everyone, Kostabas is here and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I am so ecstatic to be back and today is the release date, right? Today uh, is the launch day of the Dominion Biosyn DLC, um, which I've already bought, I've already downloaded and I am completely ready to play. Uh, it introduces new campaign, new story mode, which I'm so thrilled about, new Chaos Theory mode, or at least one more Chaos Theory mode, as we've all predicted, and I think some new mo challenge um, maps, which, again, really, really cool. Haven't gotten to play them yet, but, you know, we will get to those as well. Now, as you can see, I did play a little bit of Chaos Theory uh, so far, or, okay, maybe 80%, uh, <laughs> which I don't remember going that far out into the into this map but you know you will get the video shortly so um good to know i've achieved quite a lot in this uh in this mode uh in this map so that's right um you will get these episodes shortly i will continue playing the game i do love the game i had to take i had to take a break as i usually do uh and as always it's it was a pretty long break, but now I'm here. Um, so, the story campaign. We have the DFW campaign that we've already uh, finished, right? The lead the efforts of the DFW, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, to control, conserve, and contain wild dinosaurs now rampaging across the USA. So, we did start the uh, campaign and finished it. And here we have the Dominion campaign Biosyn DLC, which, again, was released today, and I am so exci excited to play the game. So, experience a story of biosyn and genetics, from wannabe to world leader. Lewis Dodgson looks to go further than ever before, seeking the most accurate dinosaurs ever brought back to life. Now, as they say, spoiler warning for the movie Jurassic World uh, Dominion. I did play the... I, I did play... I did watch the movie um, about five days ago, I think. Um, it didn't really feel like a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World movie. It felt very much like a random dinosaur movie um with the characters that we all know and love from the jurassic park and jurassic world movies um it felt at least in the beginning like two different movies like you have the uh, a movie from the jurassic park franchise let's call it and then a movie from the jurassic world franchise because they do feel quite different um and then it it was combined combined into some odd thing um, but it was cool to see many new dinosaurs, a lot of new dinosaurs. Um, we got to see... Um, oh, I, I won't spoil anything, even though I'm pretty sure everyone knows what's going to happen and what's going to show in the movie. Um, but anyway, it's a, it, it, it was a good movie, I did enjoy it. And I can't wait to play the game, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. As John Hammond realized his vision for Jurassic Park, his competitors began to see the potential of InGen's work. One of their main rivals, Biosyn, looked to close the gap by stealing the advantages that InGen and Dr. Wu had worked so hard to gain. To do this, they would need someone on the inside. So they enlisted a disgruntled computer engineer named Dennis Nedry. A plan was devised to steal InGen's dinosaur embryos with an inconspicuous canister created to house the precious commodity. Nobody really knows what happened that fateful night. What is certain is that Dennis Nedry and the samples were never seen again. Biosyn had failed. Unfortunately, so too had Hammond's dream. Decades later, businessman Simon Mizrani tried again, this time succeeding in delivering Hammond's vision to the world. Tragically, things didn't go as planned. Biosyn was waiting for its time, and they found it in the aftermath of Jurassic World's downfall. Now, led by Lewis Dodgson, a new era was dawning. While we don't know what the future holds, History has a habit of repeating itself. Okay, so I have to say I didn't know that Nedry was uh, recruited or, you know, that he worked for Biosyn in the first movie. I 
maybe they did say it and you know I don't I didn't remember but just that's look at it me. it's beautiful we are so close to realizing Biosyn's dream one that InGen could never achieve once we get dinosaurs here it will be perfect a perfect display of evolution luck favors the bold we were prepared now we need to finish the job give me the latest on the animals we're isolated which makes for a challenging landscape. We are still at a disadvantage until we understand more about this ecosystem and how our new friends will adapt to it. We need more information and time. The last thing we want is for them to not adapt and die. Oh, they'll adapt. I believe that. They adapted to two parks and a few islands. They're adapting now. They'll be just fine. Just get them here. I'm not sure we are totally ready to understand everything we need to. Just get them here. Leave the rest up to Mother Nature and me. Okay. So here we are and as usual, no power. I guess what they say is true. It's location, location, location. More than you realize. This is perfect. Keeps us away from the public's prying eyes and keeps the political do-gooders at arm's length. I think what InGen had and fumbled away. So pretty. They never saw the bigger picture. All dinosaur and zero business. That is where Biosyn wins. We bring a balance that InGen never understood. We see the whole picture. Okay, what's our next step? I don't want to waste any time getting this going. Okay, oh, okay. So it's like we're starting the game all over well, again. It all starts with the control center. Remember, it needs to be connected to the Hyperloop network. All right then, get started. Right, so the Hyperloop is a an underground path system introduced in this DLC. So the control center acts as oh, British. Uh, the control center acts as the junction between the Hyperloop and the path network. It must be connected to the research compound via Hyperloop at all times. Okay. So, operations, control center. Alright, okay. Hang on. I wanna go back. Why can't I open the map? They won't allow me. I've, I've moved too far. Okay, so, um, control center and. Oh, okay, so the hype. I see. I see. I, I already forgot how to play the game. No! Um. So let's. Oh, um. Okay. Um. Hang on. How do we make it go like, um. What's the name? Like, how do we make it. Oh, okay. I wanted to curve it, to, to give it a curve. So that's how. Okay. Have an operational control center. We did it. Everything's in place for us to get our new research compound constructed. Great. Then we can focus on getting it operational. Okay. Um. So do we simply place it here? Oh, okay, hang on. How do we... I just shot myself in the foot again. Hang on. And I can't. How can I delete the, the path? Isaac, update? Everything is going to plan. We should have the research we need shortly. Great. Carry on. So, um, <laughs> uh, facility details, assets rating low. Sure, we don't have any assets. Uh, finances, income per minute, zero. Upkeep per minute, minus $25,050. Um, pretty expensive. 
So now we can do this. Which I don't know why we couldn't before, but we can do it now. So edit hyperloop. Oompa loop. Um like that. No. Come on. Way better. Way, way, way better. Oh look! Hang on, how how do I maybe in here? Hyperloop No. No. Calamities. I don't care. Um how sorry, hang on. Oh look, we can see the actual the actual trains. That's nice, okay. I love the attention to details. So, advance the construction of the research compound. Research the following stage. One, core facilities. Okay. So, recruit scientists. Uh, edit hide. No. Oh, that's the, oh, that's the, the research uh, compound. Okay. So, core facilities. View research. Right. Sorry, guys, it's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna get there. So, core facilities. Enclosures. Bison genetic dinosaurs. Ooh. So, we have the um, Pyroraptor. We have the uh, Dreadnoughtus. So, that's, I think, a skin. Or maybe a variant. Um, that's a sure that's the uh, Therizinosaurus that everyone is so hyped about including me and the new Giganotosaurus which I think is a skin um, and also okay some more genetics um, and amber mines amber mines okay we'll have to see what those are about medicine speaks for itself enclosures so we have yeah now that's something I was extremely, extremely interested in. The invisible fence, which I've heard dinosaurs can't break. So once power is shut down, you know, the fences sort of disappear and they simply walk over them. But as long as there's power, no matter what happens, the dinosaurs don't, like, they can't break free, which is, wow. Um, pesky ball feeder. Right, live prey theater, right? Oh, uh, apparently there's a new, um, a new sort of, uh, auditorium or, and a viewing gallery of sorts, forgot the term, um, and carnivore feeder. Okay, um, infrastructure, coal park operations. Right, that's what we need. So re research the following stage one core facilities, but where do we research that? Oh, hang on, what are those? Stage four, three, oh, 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 so it, it, I'm dumb. So they're divided into four stages and it looks like it's because these are the floors of the building of the Biosyn research compound. It's at the actual floors. So we have you have the facility at the beginning, right? The, the, the lowest most, uh, you know, the, the, mo the lower form or the lower um, floor, I don't know what I'm saying today, I can't speak. Uh, monitoring, I guess monitoring the dinosaurs. Um, expeditions, fine, and genetics. So we have to unlock those. So this is the stage zero foundations and stage one core facilities. Um, stage two welfare, expeditions, genetics. Okay. I, again, always forget to... Oh, it's it's rather quick. And we've, we're actually building the... Oh, we're building the, the, the research compound itself. Sorry, guys, I'm slow okay, today. Okay, that did it. We have access to the core facilities research. Great. Our vision is coming together of each building we get operational. We just need to ensure we can handle all the dinosaurs when they arrive. 
I think we can do that. It's all starting to come together, just as we envisioned. We are leaving InGen in our dust. Well, I will give them some credit. They did resurrect the dinosaurs from extinction. Uh, sure, through a rushed agenda and lazy science. We're doing it right. Their failures were our education. We won't be making the same mistakes Hammond and his team made. InGen always fell in love with their own wonder. They wanted to prove to the world that they could do it. Once they did, they wanted to showcase them as circus freaks and rub our faces in it. They didn't get it. Evolution is not just DNA and frogs. It also happens in business to advance the world. Think of what we will bring to the world. Think of what we will bring to humanity. New medicines, biotechnology, beauty products, you name it, we will own it. Okay, so day and night cycles, I presume. I want to see a functioning facility. That is the only Love way we can it. secure the dinosaur survival. Absolutely, we'll get it done. See that you do. A lot is riding on it. How long is it gonna take to build? I wanna see it complete. Okay, so research complete. Core park operations. Uh, all facilities. I, I know, I can't speak or read today apparently. So research something something. I was too... No, I was too... Um, concentrated on something else. Okay. Um, so we can... We can walk around right now and run and apparently crouch um you know something that i i would really love and uh, unfortunately we don't have is um we can't enter the buildings we can't enter the buildings and that sucks that's fine whatever uh you can't ask too much so yeah well you can ask too much and you know that's too much so our response facility, paleo medical facility, emergency shelter. Right. Um, so, response facility now available. So, here we have power, here we don't. Great to know. Do you know what? Mm. Right. Let's try, first of all, let's place the road and now let's place the facilities so yeah we won't have uh, the power but we will be able to create more power stations so that's fine so response facility paleo medical facility and emergency shelter um, Medical facility in art over here. Hang on. There we go. And uh, they said the f emergency. It was emergency shelter. Right. Which actually does sort of uh, snap to the roads. That's gonna drive me nuts, but fine. Um, so we have the hydropower hub and the repeater substation. So let's place a repeat a repeater substation uh, right over here, because why not? That feels like it it would fit. And it does fit. <laughs> um, no power source. So what do I do? Um, all right, we can move buildings. Hang on, we can move buildings. So if we can move buildings... Why not? Okay, hang on, hang on. I'll be back shortly after doing some shenanigans, hang on.
We've been authorized to expand our team, specifically scientists. Look over the candidates and let's add some to our operation. Okay, so uh, first of all, I have to say I absolutely adore the fact that they added the uh, the move building option, which is incredible. <laughs> it saved my neck over here, and I think it's fine. I mean, what I just made here, what I built, I think it's fine. I mean, not perfect, but you know, uh, again, fine. <laughs> um, so. Right off the bat, once you, you know, enter through the control center, uh, you have the emergency shelter right over here, which, you know what, you know what. No, not what I wanted, I wanted this, and hang on. You know what. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so we can go and open buildings, and once we go back, we come. Oh, that's actually that's actually useful. That's cool, and you know the design. I, I really do like the design. Feels kind of fresh. I like it. I I do like it actually. You no, know, like it, it's cool. I can see the you know, the line, the border. Yeah, that's that's the invisible barrier, you know, very realistic. Um, oh, again, invisible barrier, very realistic. But um, I, I do I do like the design very much. Um, ooh, and we can we can oh my God. we can see people like this. It looks lonely. Oh, it took me so, so long to figure the button to go to first and third person uh, whilst, while we played the, uh, the first campaign mode. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy, actually. <laughs> These are very, very good uh, good additions. And not of the... definitely of the DLC, by the way. Um, I mean, the, the first person mode of walk, walking around isn't from the DLC, it's from... Uh, the previous free update, I think, which is... It's so... It, it, it's something that I wanted for so long. It, it really is. Okay, so, recruit additional scientists and increase total skill 2. Logistics, 6. Genetics, 6. Welfare, 6. Right, okay. So, view scientists. Uh, hang on. What do we have? No, not what I wanted to do. So we have four, three, and three. Right. Okay, so. Um, two out of five, one out of four, one out of three. Yeah, no. Uh, also, look at how, how low it is, as well as this. Um, because, oh, probably, okay, it's probably so expensive. She's probably so expensive because... Uh, she can go up to welfare level 8, which is pretty high. Um, I think, I think, that I'll go with, hang on. I'll go with you, I think, Boran, Alexander Boran. Cost per minute, uh, nine thousand three hundred dollars. Um, yeah, I think I'll go with you. Uh, so now I have a total of six of five and of five. So we need one more scientist. Uh, one more scientist. I think I'm gonna go on a. Oh, okay, logistics level nine. So that's the rest. Um, I think I'll go on you. Um, because you're so cheap. So, uh, we have uh, Safar with us. So, generalist, fast treatment, and altruistic salary, which uh, we've seen. So, oh, right, game cost. Let's see. I mean, we are losing money a 
extremely quickly. Uh, recruit additional scientists and increase... Uh, am I missing anything? Oh, oh, we need one more scientist. I was missing something. Okay, thought we could cheat the system. Uh, again, mm, you know what, no, no. Let's have someone good, someone that can be good. Let's have you. Because, no, yeah, I think you'll come in handy. Okay, so right now we have Safa, we have Borham, we have uh, Ture, and we have Hey, I have Sibandra. exciting news. Sim We're closing Sibandra. in on some exclusive Biosyn tech. Invisible fencing. It'll secure the animals while removing the traditional man-made constructs that have surrounded their environments. So, no visible barrier between us and the dinosaurs? That sounds terrifying. Uh, 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 the more these animals believe they are not in cages, the healthier they will be. Yeah, that will make them easier to care for. I think we'd better place some research outposts as well. We can observe our animals safely from there. You know, it's bad enough that dinosaurs never knew what a fence was until we placed them around them. But what if they become dependent on them to feel safe? At least they could see a barrier between us and them. How are they even going to trust their environment with invisible fences? How are they even going to know where they are? Oh, believe me, they'll feel it if they try to cross one. Yeah, that. I don't know. Look, it feels like we're messing with them and how comfortable they'll be in their environment. You're concerned about fences? The dinosaurs never saw a human before either, and that hasn't stopped us. Valid point. Okay, so, uh, stage two, welfare. So, your research and stage two, welfare. Oh, right, we have a few of those. Faster research, that's um, not enough. Not enough. Apparently enough. Um, okay. We are losing money quickly. Okay. Research the following. Basic power technology upgrade Isaac, and... Isaac, we've got an issue. Right. We're in need of more power. How close are we to maximum output? Already there. We won't be able to hold much longer. And we'll need to research how to get more. Upgraded power stations is the way forward. Let's get to it. Okay. Before we go any further, there's something I want from you. Through my connections, I've arranged for a number of dinosaurs to be delivered here to our facility. They're coming all the way from Isla Sorna, so you'll have some time to prepare for their arrival. I'm confident you won't let me down. They're going to need enclosures, secure enclosures. Safety is essential for them and us. And we have to get this right. We don't need another Ingen or Masrani incident. Absolutely. We will do better. Okay. Um, so we have also the invisible fences. Okay, so arrival of Stegosaurus, Gallimimus, and Parasaurolophus, all of them can, I think, live with each other. So we have fences and invisible gates. Also, hatcheries. So I guess we will be able to hatch our dinosaurs as well. Uh, ranger posts, shore feeders, I guess so. Um, am I missing something? something I feel like I do uh, what am I missing um, so we can create the research outpost okay that's good uh, emergency shelters that's great uh, expedition center not so much oh no it's still locked fossil center we can create this no it's locked as well right and the control center which we are unable to build because we've already had uh, we've already built and installed one uh, staff center though apparently we can so I think we will you know what you know what no let's first of all create 
than closure. The map isn't that big, you know? You know, that's one of the things that, like, really bothered me the most in the game. Is, like, how... How small sometimes the maps feel. Even though they aren't necessarily very small, um, they, f they do feel quite small. So I feel like creating a rather big enclosure is the way to go, at least at the moment. Yeah, whatever. Let's create a bulb. And invisible gate over here, because why not? And the repeater substation. So receives and then provides power to structures in a radius without pylons. Must be linked to a power source to transfer power. I don't get though. How do we do that? I don't get it. Like, is that fine? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm on pause. Forgot about that. So... It would appear la that we don't have enough energy, enough power for the invisible gate. Why, though? So... Uh, give me two minutes. So, unused power th 72. Uh, it should be enough. Maybe because it's not yet connected. Yeah, okay. It wasn't connected yet. Um, so, give me two minutes. Um, okay. So, let's create also the research outpost. Give me two minutes. So, can we create it inside of the enclosure? And I'm saying that specifically because uh, right now we can make people reach these, uh, I guess, research centers uh, from the underground, basically. Yeah. Would you look at that? Okay. Transit has commenced. Transporting asset. Okay, those are quite a, a lot of galley minuses. Uh, transport dinosaur, sure. Delivery has been completed. Delivery and complete. The asset has been transported. In a, a little short than asset in transit. Half a okay. Asset transportation underway. Show you. Um, Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I don't know what did I do. We... We can actually lower the... the... Oh my god. Okay, hang on. So that's way more of a style than I thought it would be. It's like a combination... Oh, and I like how the, the fences sort of went up to, to protect. And then we can go... So it's sort of a combination between the uh, the, the old, like the first um, gallery, right? Like the gallery that you unlock in the first game, and then the um, the lifted one or whatever you want to call it, the tower. So it's kind of a combination. I'm sorry, of a combination of the two. Transportation complete. Okay, so you Asset are delivered. missing forest. And obviously ground fruit and ground fiber, but forest. I didn't think that you'd miss forest. And the Gallimimus is missing ground beef. But we have enough forest. Okay, um, let's add more forest. And uh, fruits and nuts, so ground fiber and ground fruit. Let's add some trees and some things. 
Let's add some fruits here. Okay, so. Um, where are... Um, so, missing ground fiber. Still missing ground fiber. Transportation in progress. Asset being transported. No, what? Not what I want. So, still missing ground fiber. But we're Asset fine. transported. Confirming asset delivery. Asset has been delivered. No, I don't think it is. Uh, ground asset fiber. delivered. Asset has been collected. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Great. Looks like the enclosures are ready. We need to make these habitats as desirable for the dinosaurs as we can. A little bit too loud. Um, maybe. Um, maybe like that. Okay. Maybe. I. I. I don't know. You know, in this episode, once I I edit it, I'll see if everything was too loud. If it was, you know. I'll fix it uh, for the next video, for the next episode. Um, oh, the Rufus look fine. Oh, they look incredible. Oh, they really, really do. So why are you not comfortable? Ground nut. Oh, and we have a fog. Apparently. No, no we don't. I have no idea what that effect was. Look at the guy, the guy misses. No, that's the parasaurus. Okay. Okay. Missing ground leaf. So, ground leaf and ground nuts. Um. Right, okay. So this okay. Influence comfort. We can see the comfort going up or not. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, and it's not going up because there's no. Nuts there. Where can I don't see any ground nuts though? Where are the ground nuts? Oh, okay, hang on, hang on. So you are content. You are not very content. You're missing ground leaf. Um, so let's harmless. Okay, hang on, hang on. I have so much to learn, so much to see. Cheating. Um, so honestly, have so much to learn and see. Um, how did we do this? No, how how did we see? Um, that was right. Influence. Okay, so we said ground leaf. So you guys are also comfortable. Okay, I think. Yeah. 
We did it. Ramsey, I've been going through the data, and I think we can make some real progress if we get a research outpost connected to our Hyperloop. Yeah, makes sense to me. Awesome. Then let's make it happen. I already did it. Without proper security, we slip into the same chaos that brought down our rivals. But our Ranger team should be capable of maintaining order. We'll set up the necessary patrols. Yeah. I don't have to remind you, remote monitoring can only go so far. Of course. We'll get right on it. What do you mean? Not all dinosaurs can be reached by Ranger Post? Or well, what's a Ranger Post? Oh, that's a Ranger Post. Okay. No, you moved too close. Um. So, you guys... Oh, okay, so the territory does go over there. Um, so let's put one here. And one over... Not in the water. Um, so R is the ranger team. Add task. Go here and go here. And look at that. The night cycles in action. Um, okay. Why not though? Have you ever heard the phrase, you are victims of your own success? Because gentlemen, that's where you find yourselves. Both of you. Not sure I follow. It means we're doing our job, so we can take on even more. Whatever the challenge, we're ready. Then welcome to the Biosyn Genetics Research Compound Phase 3. This will allow us to continue expanding our genetic engineering division and take our operations to the next level. Biosyn is counting on you. More importantly, I am counting on you. We need perfect genetic samples for the best outcome. That is something Piosin will write a check for. Yeah, but we're not yet in control. We're dependent on others until we get in a position to send out our own expeditions. And I don't like being unable to control the outcome of something. Yes, but once this research is done, we'll be able to send out our own expeditions. We should be in a better place around our samples. If we own and control it, it's better for Biosyn. And you. So you see, I, I was able to reach it. Why why did it say it didn't? What it could Also why oh the, the, the gates are for dinosaurs, not for the ranger teams. Uh, even though returning response Returning response facility. I am confused. What's going on? I am very confused. But let's see. So we have one there and here is the second one. Oh. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I have no idea what that was. I'm sure they'll teach us shortly. Okay. I just sent an AVU team, MVU team, sorry, um, as to why I am not fully aware. So, advance the construction of the research compound. Research the following stage 3 expeditions. Let's do it. Uh, what's open facility though? Beats me, I have no idea. 
So right now we are building the, the compound. The research compound. It would appeal it would appear that um Toure is gonna need a break very very soon. Unless we want um the sabotage risk to increase, which we haven't seen yet, so maybe that's a good thing. Who knows? I mean, it's definitely not a, a good thing, but maybe, you know, it's a good thing that we'll have to see it. Um, to experience it. So, const construct an operation okay. expedition center. Okay, we are ready to build an expedition center. Don't forget, we'll need a fossil center too. Understood. These buildings will put biosyn at the cutting edge of bioengineering. Okay, so that's one, and now the fossil center, which is tiny in comparison. Why not? Uh, we will put you... Oh. How about here? And why not the staff center right over here? Let's connect everything. My understanding is that we're ready to send out a team? That's correct. Good. I want you to start with an amber mining expedition. This valley wasn't chosen by accident. This area is rich with amber. And I intend for Biosyn to exploit that. Insects trapped in prehistoric tree sap. That is what we need. This is where our dinosaurs begin. This amber? is going to be the time capsule that links us back to the era of the dinosaurs. It's a window to the past, and worth billions. Ramsey, have our scientists extract what they can from the fossils. That'll increase our genome diversity. Yes, on it. And what is the end goal of this? To do the impossible, again. Okay, so... Uh, we want the Apatosaurus, and we want the Brachiosaurus. Uh, I want some sauropods. So, um, you guys are... Like, that that's something I don't understand. I did send a ranger team. So, what's the problem? Or well, maybe, like, right now we're returning with the data. And a repair. But we did go. I am so confused. I don't know what's going on. View. What? What's the problem? Simply go there. Is it, is, okay, it looks like they're going, so maybe now it will happen. Oh, increase genome of Dimetrodon. I wanted to. I, I really did. Um, but I didn't know if that's what I want to do first. Um, so let's create another enclosure. Um, I think... You know what? Hang on. Site completed. Right. Um, so since they are insisting of the Dimetrodon... Let's try that. Um, okay.
And we have a path connected. So let's try and have a little bit more of that dimetrodon DNA. We can create the Apatosaurus. Hang on. Hang on. Hatchery. Apatosaurus. Um, staff busy. Scientist limit. Three. Uh, large appetite. 25%. Trait chance. Uh, also, long lived. 25% chance. Kind of like those odds, I think. Okay. Um... So we're going to have to wait for our scientists to finish. Uh, which they have. How about we tell both of you to rest because I think you really do deserve it. Well deserved rest. So can we see modification genomes? Um, oh, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so we can choose the skin colors. You know what? I, I want to have a few experiments. Um, I'm going to have some fun. So we have the blank pattern and the random pear egg. I want the random pear egg. Okay, so we have our skin color research required and also some challenge modes uh, that require those. Or they require. Same for the patterns. Interesting. Actually, very interesting. Ah, hang on, hang on. Cancel. Not what I wanted. Um, so, in actuality, incredibly interesting. And, okay, and it's all... It all I am intrigued. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So can't we I don't understand what's happening. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I am not... I don't manage. Okay, so we need seven, right? Three, two, one, one. We don't have enough. We don't have enough skill. No. No, 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 no. No, I want more. Hang on. No, that's not gonna end like this. Um, yeah, okay, view scientists, recruit new scientist, um, we want in the genetics, ooh, you're expensive, you're expensive, you're even more expensive, um, but yeah, Estrada, um, you're hired for the Apatosaurus, you're hired, even if it's gonna bring me to, bran to bankruptcy, I'm gonna see these Apatosauruses, so, Four, three, let's go. Okay, hang on, let's see. Move, Leaf, move. Okay, the leaves are annoying. Well, 
is the UI though. Oh, it's gonna be appearing shortly. Um, so obviously the skin is the same for both. And the colors obviously are different. This one is more bluish, this one is more greenish. Um, so you're missing... Oh, okay, so the, the area is fine, I guess. Um, just about. So the you're missing forest and you're missing tall leaf. Ma again, makes sense. Um, oh, also, yeah, you have a lot of space to, to sort of roam around and see. Um, why not go there? You know, test the area. Also, um, I don't want to. I, I want to actually be able to see the creatures coming out. So um, we're going to add some trees here and remove some there um, because the trees really did sabotage my experience of watching these majestic creatures move out. Um, hang on. So you are. Still not comfortable with the forest, I didn't add much. Uh, tall leaf though, I think is needed. Um, tall leaf, which is over here. And... You're still missing forest, but that's fine, okay. So I think... I think we're fine, I think we're good. Um, so yeah, you're definitely more greenish and the other one is more purple. Uh, how do I move between them? Yeah, that's how I move between them. Um, so this is the Apatosaurus. I like them. I, I, I really truly do. I like them. I like the, the, the environment. I like the dinosaurs. I like everything. This game is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I thought the building was on fire, but no, that's just ventilation. So guys, I know this is this has been kind of a very slow very um disorganized very messy episode um i'm just having fun i'm just trying to learn and relearn a lot of the things that i've already forgot about the game how to play the game um you know it's a shame that some of the things that i've already forgotten um and kind of trying to remember uh are stuff that we've known ever since the first game <laughs> so not only are are they not new from the DLC, they're not new to the game at all, right? They appeared in the first game and I'm still trying to sort of remember how to play the game. Um, so I'm sorry if this video was a little bit um, slow, sluggish, disorganized, if it was incoherent at times. I am trying to see um, how to manage the, uh, the, audio, the audio levels uh, and my own speaking levels um, in the mic. But I really enjoyed this episode. I really do enjoy the game. I think that this DLC is so far at least incredible. Uh, and the game is incredible. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like button, subscribe to the channel. You know, you can comment if you want. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.